Hello everybody and welcome to episode 50 of Let's Build a City and that's right we've made it 50 episodes in and as you can see there's been a heck of a lot of uh, progress. Anyway guys, yeah, we're 50th episode now, and I always said, uh, 50th episode, I'll do a kind of an update tour of what's been built, and uh, this is the first tour of the actual city, like a full dedicated tour to it, so uh, enjoy, but I do have to mention beforehand, not everything was built in episode, um, you know, the majority of it was, but you need to remember, we've done loads and loads of live streams now, which has always been fun, which has probably contributed Contri contributed contributed to about probably about 40% of the city um, so yeah there's a lot of stuff done in live streams as well there's a couple of other stuff as well that was just built um, randomly which wasn't recorded at all anyway we'll start where it all began about a year ago now episode 1 we decided to build this building and what is this building now? Uh, this is called the Hard Rock Cafe and as you can see not much has changed since episode 1 inside here um, someone took over the business and owned it so I suppose that they've set up um, a nice little business going here and I've seen a lot of you guys recreate this building in your world so it's always awesome uh, to be seeing that uh, episode 2 we created this building which I really like and again I've seen well I've seen like this whole street recreated by a lot of you guys and it's fantastic to uh, actually see that um, hold on my TV is about to turn off okay but um, yeah this is pretty much an outdoorsy shop which doesn't make much sense because like no one has gardens here but oh hey ho uh, we've got like gravel dispensers and dirt dispensers and stuff um, yeah, it's a pretty nice shop. I think someone owns it. I'm not too sure. Let's actually take a look. Uh, oh, I guess no one owns that, so step right up. You can own it. I think the apartments upstairs are taken, though. Most of the apartments in this city are uh, owned. Yeah, oh, it looks like someone's looks like someone's hosting their own little uh, TV studio that had a green screen. Anyway, I don't want to go in every single building, or else we'll be here uh, for quite a while. But I'll just go over some of the buildings we then built um well we went out that way next but we built this as well this is the blockton cafe i think wait we'll actually have to take a look yeah oh it's the blocktobian cafe uh, again another cafe i don't think i did the interior of a lot of these builds in episode um don't think i did that in an episode but that's just a very basic uh basic building i decided to do which could be copied around the city um we got the bakery here, that's pretty nice, uh, I did the inside of that on video, oh this is the police station which we actually changed recently, uh, if I just fly up here, see the uh, white and blue, that is uh, the new addition there to the front, but I think it looks pretty cool, and uh, I think, who is it now that took over the police, um, someone's chief of police now anyway, and um, they do a good job of trying to keep the city uh, away from griefers and stuff and the jail has been used many times to catch these griefers and you know try and bring justice to the city so it's a really one of the most busiest buildings <laughs> in the city unfortunately right so let's shut that they got the police car out the front as well uh, the theater we actually haven't put actually we have put a couple of shows on that I think of it because we did the uh, we started off the 1000 subscriber special video here and it looks like there's been a little YouTube celebration going on so I guess yeah the theatre is used uh, a bit I mean I didn't even put that there so it looks like someone put on their own show um, this is a random apartment thing which I think oh okay well I've been looking for places for because people ask me oh can I have a house or whatever so it's good to know that one's free so I'll be letting people know about that got a McDonald's there and yeah, that's always you know, you can't, it, you know, McDonald's is what it is. People come in, they get their food, 
And uh, there you go. And I mean, what's that? Oh, Roman Atwood 4219 owns this McDonald's. So it's cool that people set up their own businesses. There's another little shop here. Um, I'm not entirely sure who built that. Uh, we've got an anime store. That's like one of my favourite buildings. It just looks like really modern and nice. Um, like I didn't plan a route really. I just thought we'll go along, see the attractions. This is a pretty awesome building, which has changed like um, what it actually is loads of times. It once was a library, um, then it turned into someone's headquarters, and then it turned into something else. And now I think it's like a little internet cafe now. So that's pretty nice. Um, but I just let, you know, once people build, well, buy their businesses, I let them uh, just take control of it, really. Um, I don't think any of this was built in episode. This is all built outside or um, in live streams. So I guess it's a good chance to show some of it off if you don't watch the live streams. Um, this is someone's business, work in progress. Looks like they're building a little uh, restaurant of some sort. But uh, yeah, work in progress here, so we'll have to come back another time. Um, but that's a pretty nice building. It was based on the design of a building back there, actually. This was based on the first building we ever built that we saw a minute ago. I thought I'd see if I could uh, spruce it up a little bit, and um, this is what it turned out to be, and it looks quite a nice building. Uh, these buildings, oh, I did build these in, well, I built the design in episode and then carried these on, put some more down. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Over here, someone else built that. I don't, uh, I'm not sure who. Actually, I guess we can find out. Tonic Strobe, I think. And uh, it's a nice little pizza place. Like, I love that pizza dangling off the edge. Uh, that's the one I was on about, which we built in episode. That looks really nice. Someone built a little, uh, what's it, production office and business place. Yeah, so it's someone's little uh, business they've set up there, which is nice to see. Um, I built that in episode. It's not a particularly nice looking building, if you ask me. It's pretty pointless that I did an episode on that. Um, but apparently there's a gaming hotel, which doesn't seem to be operating, but uh, maybe he'll uh, he'll get that up and running. Um, this is Funky Flynn's creepy looking house he randomly built uh, once. I just came alive. He said, oh, can I build a house? I was like, uh, I guess so. And um, I came back and there's this like haunted house looking thing and I was just like It's got so much character. I don't want to I don't want to get rid of it. So I just left it there um, Built this on like one of our first live streams these uh, houses or well, yeah, I guess they are houses I was gonna say they're more apartments, but they are houses um, And we gave them away to loads of people on live streams uh, Although they haven't been filled in and this one's got like a hole blasted in the side of it but there's a lot of maintenance and stuff which needs to go on in the city um, oh again these buildings weren't built in episode uh, which they should have been but I got carried away I got like I didn't want to have to wait to do an episode each time so I just thought I'd build some stuff um, again some more random buildings just to fill in the city this is nice this is a coffee shop we built in an episode, and I really like the coffee cup design, so I'll probably use that more. Uh, actually, I did, I use it in a later episode on a Starbucks set design. So that's cool, that's owned by Cosmics. This is where we get more into, well, a kind of more high rise area. Um, there's a few restaurants set up along here. In fact, those two are restaurants, these ones owned by King Caden. And this is a shop, I think, Tom's Candyland. Um, so that is awesome, we make our way over here, um, which way should I go, I mean, I suppose I'll go this way and then come back because uh, we don't need to show too much down here. Uh, we've got some shops here which people seem to buy and then never come back to, so these are always like changing hands and stuff. Uh, but that's a really nice looking building if you ask me, I'm pleased with how that turned out. Uh, this one like was derelict for ages. Um, until I gave it away to someone. And I think now it's owned by Lucky4SS, who's turned it into some kind of hotel uh, or something. But I don't know what they're doing with that building. Um, this we built and just left for ages, but I eventually got around to turning it into a casino. So it's pretty nice on the inside. And if you, uh, well, you got to like, get your ID and then make sure you can 
pay to get in, and then this is like the kind of like pool, a couple of tables, play cards on, and it gets a bit more serious up here with all the roulette tables and stuff. Um, so that was cool. This still, well, I built that ages ago, and that's still not got anything inside it. Um, we got a supermarket here, which we built, which is served nicely. This is always like. We filled this in straight away and it, it does look pretty cool. It's a nice little addition. Although I don't know if it suits like here, honestly. It doesn't make much sense being here, but I'm not going to change it now. Um, the American Hotel, not very popular, but um, it's still going. It's still a business afloat. Uh, the, what's this? Oh, this is the Italian place. I love this, just because of all the flags and stuff. I was the Italian diner and RHC Elite went and built a hotel on the back of it, so I guess he owns this. Um, but yeah, there's like a proper hotel built onto the back of it. It's pretty awesome. Um, so if you need fine dining and a place to rest your head, come here. It's pretty nice. Um, anyway, let's go forward so I can show you what uh well actually we've got we got to go back on ourselves loads of times to <laughs> get through everything. But this is the RK7 tower. Probably the biggest building, maybe? In, like, sheer volume and, you know, scale, it's probably the biggest building. There's some taller ones in the city, but um, this is probably the largest. Uh, but, yeah, the RK7 tower is probably my favourite building. And uh, we use it all the time, although it has been griefed quite a few times because people think, like, Oh, how can I make the most damage? And they just fly to like the biggest building and uh, just chuck lava over it. But um, still, we've not focused too much on doing the interior. We did start some of it, as you can see here. Because it's such a large space, it does take um, a really long time. So we do need to sort that out. Although there are offices and stuff um, inside here somewhere. Oh, these are different floors. So these ones are all vacant offices. And if you get higher up, I think, yeah, like this office is taken. Uh, this is my office, which someone literally came in, destroyed everything, and then went out. Uh, and there's loads of different offices. Oh, wait, there's not too many. I thought there was more. Um, okay, I guess. Well, I think that's Ryan's. And, uh, oh, that's odd. But, yeah, there's loads of um, other rooms and stuff. It's a huge building. Honestly, there's loads of different... Uh, places where offices can be set up like in here yeah it's a pretty cool building so I need to get more people to come and uh, fill in offices and own some stuff but anyway that brings us back to where we are over here so I'll uh, carry on we head more towards the docks this is less of the main city area kind of starts to head towards a more town like area this is supposed to be like a car shop but instead of cars we have horses so uh, that was a pretty cool idea I can't remember who decided to do uh, think of that idea, but it was thought up of a, uh, in a live stream, so we did that. Filled in some of the area with some storage lockups, and um, this was all done in a live stream, by the way. So I'm sure you can still find that live stream somewhere. <laughs> I mean, we call the live streams all the same thing. And oh, I didn't notice that. Look, if you fly f quite far away, the uh, shulker blocks disappear. But yeah, this is supposed to be like cargo awaiting its well transportation or I suppose it's being offloaded um, from ships and stuff uh, there once was a building here but we got rid of it and uh, we filled in some of these blank spaces in the middle of these squares with different things like uh, this one's basketball I think we've got some other stuff somewhere else um, again are oh, these uh, these two weren't built by me um, and a lot of this stuff this was built on live stream. I think we stuck to building a lot of live stream stuff over this way. Um, so, in fact, that far one, that one, that one, and most of this street was done in a live stream. Well, not in a couple of live streams, I mean. Uh, but this is cool. It's like the more older Victorian style part of town. Um, I really like the way these buildings are. Um, we decided to build. A giant warehouse in a live stream so that was cool uh, we built this arcade in an episode um, this has been griefed a couple of times but we've always rebuilt it because we thought it's one of the cooler uh, buildings on the inside so uh, yeah I still go in that quite a lot it's quite a, quite
quite a frequently used building actually. Uh, this is a restaurant I randomly built um, based on something in real life. Still haven't finished that though. Um, someone wanted to have a go at building so I said yeah like, like this bit of the city never used to really be a thing so I just thought I'll stick it over here and it turned out to be really nice. I built a fire station but I knew well I wanted to build my own fire station for an episode because it's quite a significant thing in the city so I decided to turn it into a garage and uh, that turned out really well. Um, and then we started building over here on live streams and all of this um, bar one episode was done in live streams. Oh no, bar, I think it's like a couple of episodes actually we did here but uh, this is mainly live stream era. This is making me realize how much stuff we've done on live streams. There's still loads of stuff like the wall to fill in um, but yeah there's lots of stuff to do so we're no by, uh, by no means anywhere near finish on this city. Um, but yeah, this is this is the main road which leads into this town. Still working on it. It's always changing and stuff. Um, we're working on just getting it to look quite realistic and stuff. Um, so some of the buildings we build and then change. Um, but it's coming along quite nicely, I think. I mean, my favourite part, or the favourite view of this part, is where you look like here. Don't you think that just that site looks really nice? All the buildings like fit in together really nicely. Um, but yeah, that's cool. That's a load of like 50s diners and there's apartments. Like this is cool. There's like an advertisement on the wall and some apartments going out with the fire escape type staircase and there's some graffiti. Um, but yeah, loads of loads of uh, shops and stuff. Like most of these are actually owned by people so that's pretty cool it's like how you can have your own little input in the world is by owning the buildings and doing the interior and uh, just setting up a little business in the city uh, it's a great way to get involved um, and we'll head back here because this is we've pretty much covered this and uh, we'll head on through uh, let's see if we go up this way um, this area still I was going to fill us in with a skyscraper, then I made the decision to build the skyscrapers over that way. So I don't know what this will be yet. Maybe you can leave your suggestions in the comment section. And hold on. There we go. Um, anyway, yeah, so we showed you all this. Uh, this building here was built in a live stream, I believe. And that was originally subscriber towers or something. So this is where all these like VIPs could go. Um, oh no, I actually donate, uh, not donated, I designated this building to people that donated to me, so if you donated money, um, I'd be like, well, you can definitely have um, an office here, and this is where the um, Rock Kieran 7 office used to be, and it still is actually, uh, still is all in here, but it's not used anymore, um, but yeah, that used to be like the little boardroom, where there was a meeting going on. So that's cool. It's like a little abandoned offices, so you can go explore that. Um, I'm sure you've all seen this before, the bowling alley. The only new addition is the car park we added on the side there to fill in the land. And plus it made perfectly uh, good sense because there's the whole bowling complex and plus there's a beach now uh, there. Um, but yeah, this is pretty nice because uh, all the interior is done. There's a little arcade. And uh, it works. I mean, oh, it's been, I think it's been griefed a little bit. Um, but there there can be some repairs done. Uh, but yeah, it actually does work. So, but it's not that entertaining. It's still something which you can do within the city. Um, so it's not just for show. I guess we'll, uh, actually, let's get the beach done because then we don't have to come back this way. So uh, I'm sure you've all seen the beach before. We worked on it. In episodes and live streams and um, that big building on the corner is going to be changed up and stuff it looks pretty um, horrendous at the moment um, but yes just ignore that for the time being but um, these front shops here I really like them they're very beach like um, and everyone owns them now so they're all owned by different people though not all the signs are up and like, there's a parrot driving a boat that's interesting um, so yeah, it's cool that people do come and own their businesses. We set up a barbecue place here as well um, to fill in some land. And uh, it seemed very appropriate, you know, the kind of thing you'd want by the beach there. Um, 
so yeah, this is a really great area. I just need to find a way of kind of expanding it and making it go back and having some little streets and stuff. Um, but it's all a work in progress. I mean, I have to plan out things more. Um, that's the thing I need to do in the future is plan out things in advance more. Right, we're onto a new street here. I think this was the first um, live stream I did um, with this microphone here. So the other live streams I did were pretty poor quality until I got this. And I did this, uh, like this little street here with RHC Elite doing a dual commentary. So we, uh, we built up this. Um, we built up a couple of other shops as well. This is the doctor's surgery that we built in an episode, I think. I do believe we did that anyway. And uh, that's a really nice looking building, honestly. I really like it. And that's all the interiors done. And uh, you can actually kind of see, well, there's blinds on the windows for obvious reasons. But um, it just made me realise how many banners we've actually used in this city. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Got the fire station, of course. This has changed like a little bit. Um, we changed the bell at the top there because it looks a bit weird with a big golden block. And um, then there's loads of people that have been employed here to actually um, fight fires. And their main job here at the fire station is to go help clear up the grief. And like if there's buildings which are all damaged, they can go rescue people. Um, I think these buildings were built by other people honestly um, but they look pretty nice so I thought I'd keep them um, some very basic buildings we did just to fill uh, fill in the spots there and uh, oh this is an ice cream shop I think or a smoothie shop I can't. Uh, oh it's Cosmic's Milkshakes and Cosmic's like donated so much money in live streams it's absolutely crazy so he bought out pretty much half the city uh, but yeah, some apartments up there, I suppose. Um, so if you see these like apartments and stuff, and you do come on my city, make sure if you want them, you uh, do let me know. Um, but I think since the update, so all the colours changed, I need to change up some of the buildings, because so that does look really bright. Uh, we've got a pet shop here, which we still haven't done, uh, so I need to do that. Podcast studio, we did one podcast, I mean, um, it, was, it was quite a good podcast, but not many people... Um, watched it or listened to it, whatever. So um, I just thought I'd, I'd leave it for a bit and maybe bring that back up uh, in the future. But let me know. Would you guys be interested in seeing podcasts? Let me know below. Um, some other stuff, like this is where the fire brigade and the police have been. They've sorted out this, like crime or explosion out the front there. Uh, again, just some more quite simple buildings I uh, can't remember when they like if they were done on episode or live streams. Um, oh, this is a, this is one of my favourite parts of the city. There's all these like old warehouse style buildings, and I really like that design. So yeah, we got these. This uh, building, which is completely empty, I think. I think someone owns it, if I'm honest. But uh, don't think there's any signs. So I oh, know that yes, there is. This is owned by AJ Nixon. Oh, okay, so. He owns an electronics company in the city, I think. So he's got that as a little warehouse. Oh, this is Pug the Girl Gamer. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Yeah, it's Pug the Girl Gamer's pub, but she's changed her name now. Um, to, oh, no, uh, I don't know. But anyway, basically, yeah, this is someone called Pug's pub. And it's pretty nice. It's a funky pub, but she hasn't got Xbox One, so she needs to come in and fix up all of the... Uh, all of the buildings that she owns now, because she bought out a load of the city as well with donations. But it's a really nice looking building actually. It does look like a funky looking pub. Again, there's some more, some actual apartments someone built for me, just along there. Um, there's like a bakery here. And then there's these uh, factories and warehouses and stuff, which were done in episode, I think. Well, these ones were at least. And that was a pretty good episode if you ask me. Like. I love these buildings and you don't really see many people doing that style. People usually stick to modern or just houses. So I was pretty pleased I did that. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out uh, for sure. We've also got like a big, what is this? This is Roman Atwood's like shopping center or something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there's a clothes store which no one owns. So 
guys can snatch these things up. There's like a car park for... Oh yeah, this is like a warehouse for someone's business. And there's like a, a modern extension on the side. And I think it's a really cool um, way to blend in both the old and new styles. Uh, we finally built a Starbucks after so many people requested it. So I was pleased with that. And that's why I was saying the uh, coffee cup logo was incorporated in. Um, ah, this is... Oh wait, I already said what my favourite building is. Okay, this is my second favourite building in the world. And um, this is just a random factory we built. But it just turned out so well. I don't even know. I think this was done on a live stream. Just like, We didn't even plan it. We just started building. We are going to build another one of them warehouses. I was like, wait, hold on. We can do this, this and this. And it turned out like this. And I was so pleased of how that turned out. And um, we're still expanding out here. So there's lots more to do. Um, I built another one of these, but it didn't turn out that great. So I need to fix that up. It looks pretty rubbish, if you ask me. Um, I think Ryan built this, if we just take a better look at it. This is where we're in the modern, actual skyscraper part of the city, as you can see in the background. That enormous skyscraper. Um, but yeah, offices here, um, just for like, you can rent out offices. Loads of people have set up different things in there. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is our like a friend that visits the world sometimes. That's his like main building. Um, what else have we got? Ah, here's some like high street shops. Uh, I think it's like a little cafe. And uh, yeah, these two are shops here. They're like modern shops. This is someone's headquarters, which they still haven't finished. This building never seems to be finished. It's been owned by like three people. Uh. Harry 218 Gamer still hasn't finished this. He gets. Harry comes in the world and uh, he just helps me with so much stuff he doesn't get time to build his own thing. So, Harry, if you're watching this, you need to get to work, my friend. Um, ah, here's some more offices. This is like. This is quite an office area. Uh, so, yeah, look, a whole area just where people have set up their own businesses and stuff to run their own uh, companies in the world. Um, if we go along here, we got uh, a McDonald's. Well, this isn't actually supposed to be a McDonald's, so I need to sort that out. It's just like a random restaurant. Um, this is the NBNN, so obviously um, this is probably the tallest building in the world. This is like TV studios and stuff. We filled in the first couple of floors, um, but we need to fill in the rest. So that's going to be... A heck of a job, but I will do that eventually. Um, some more offices and stuff that people have bought. Um, this is like the big office, uh, full of like this is the high-end offices. So people have set up kind of cool centers inside. Uh, let's see a good example. I'm pretty sure there's one which looks just like a cool center. Like, as you can see, it's little offices where people get to work. Uh, so yeah, that here. There's all these little partitions and stuff. It's pretty awesome, uh, honestly. We've got uh, this building, which oh, it looks like I haven't finished the side there. I thought I did. Um, again, offices, private offices for people to uh, rent out. This is this office hasn't been taken. This one's been set up as uh, there's like a little boardroom meeting place. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice looking building if you ask me. I'm pretty pleased with the way that one turned out. I think the colours just look really good. Uh, this is like a shopping place under construction. And as you can see inside here, we just go in. There's loads of shops being set up. But yes, not done yet. But uh, it will be done eventually. Uh, this building, this is someone's... This is called Never Corp or something. Never Tech. Yeah, that needs to be finished. Whoever's building that is... They came in and they said, can I build a skyscraper? I was like, sure. But they never finished it. So it's been under construction for ages. We need that to be finished. Um, this is Ryan's skyscraper. And it looks amazing. Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, it looks pretty awesome. I think it's a apartment complex. Uh, you come in here. There's an elevator. Oops, looks like there's been a bit of grief. So we need the police to be called out to this place. See if they can find the whoever did this. 
Um, but this is pretty cool actually. I'll show you this. This is where the this is how the elevator works. It's literally ladders. But um, it's a pretty cool idea. And I know there's a lot of lag here for some reason. But yeah, you go up the elevator and you go into the building. And this tunnel actually leads to um, <clears throat> the underground car park for the uh, apartments. And then you can drive up here and you eventually come out just uh, next to it. So that's a pretty cool way um, to keep your cars all safe if you are uh, visiting the apartments. Um, what else we got? We got a little multi-story car park. Uh, this building, which is very new, so we haven't actually designated what this building's going to be. But um, that is pretty awesome. We've also got this massive building, which again is just more shops and businesses getting set up by different people. So the plant shop by Mindless Leech. This is Phase Cheese's YouTube merchandise. Um, oh, you can get loads of different. <laughs> that's pretty cool, all the different um, merchandise off different YouTubers here. Oh look, mine's, mine's there, Rock Kieran's merch. It's in a jukebox, that's cool. Um, and it's really laggy around this part of the city. Um, let's see, what else have we got? We've got, we're coming to the end of the tour really. We've got this building, this skyscraper's awesome. We started that in a live stream and then I built this whole curved thing just uh, outside of video I think um, and then it just turned out really nicely I love this building now but I haven't actually done anything with it I just built a massive staircase <laughs> inside of it but um, that needs to be done I need people to own businesses and stuff as well uh, this skyscraper is absolutely huge but uh, I really like that actually it's very simple but it does look good um, but that's just going to be turned into people's offices and um, basically it's just going to be divided up and you can own one of the floors and do whatever you want on it. This is a kind of promenade area which uh, will just lead to the different businesses. It's just quite a nice uh, business park kind of thing. And uh, then we have these three companies set up in the world and that's the most recent thing uh, we've actually built here. And uh, that turned out really nicely, actually. But we're still uh, only this morning we were started building the inside, so we're still not done. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'll fly over just to see if I've uh, missed anything, but I don't think I have. Um, oh, actually, yes, I have. I missed one street, and that is quite an important one. So let me go uh, go down here and show you that. Um, we've got this tunnel here, which just leads under the mountain and we come out here at the train station and this train station looks awesome I'm so pleased with the way this one turned out um, and inside it we did the interior finally we like lit it all up and stuff and um, that turned out really nicely we still need to light up this a bit more and put some designs on the wall that is cool because it's a proper working station this line takes you all the way back to my old city it goes underground for like ages um, so that's awesome we got RHC Elite's hotel um, it's very very posh and it's difficult to get a room here there's only a few rooms so uh, you have to book in advance I think and then finally we've got the city mall oh well one of them I'm sure I'll build some more in the future but this is pretty awesome apart from that and um, we got a balloon, well a couple of balloons stuck there on the ceiling and uh, people have set up their own little uh, shops and stuff in here as well and there's a little food court at the back, there's a McDonald's and a Subway and um, it just all turned out very nicely this building so I'm pleased with that but now that's the uh, end of the tour and um, it's pretty much, we've built everything uh, either in episode or in a live stream and uh, it turned out pretty well but it's an ever growing city and uh, we're still still working on it and we will be working on it for a long time so don't expect um, there to be any like fewer videos or anything we'll be working on this for ages we've got so many more episodes and there's always stuff to be built um, but yeah thanks for everyone that has watch these first 50 episodes hope you have enjoyed them i've definitely enjoyed doing them 
Uh, in fact, at some points, I've like just wanted to keep building, keep building, but I have to restrict myself. And be like, right, I don't want people missing out too much. Uh, but yeah, it's been awesome so far, guys. So thanks for all your support on it, and I uh, hope you uh, continue to enjoy them. But all I have to say now is thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe.